Hi guys, Justin here and welcome to another episode of the tips and tricks videos. In this one, we're going to talk about price checking. People always ask for price checks in the chat and in the PMs and people always want to know how much their items that they're finding are worth and usually they're disappointed because they're not worth much. So how to check yourself how much your items are worth and how to get a good idea for how much you should be selling or buying your items for. For this, we're going to need three basic tools. First tool that we're going to be using is going to be a POE uh, official trade website. That's number one. The second one is going to be POE Ninja. That's another website that lists a lot of uh, items and their values. And the third one is going to be either POE uh, overlay or trade macro, any kind of a macro that shows you a quick price check based on the, uh, based on the trade website. So this is what we're going to be doing. So first of all, let's go through something simpler, like for example, a unique item, right? Let's say you found a unique item and you want to know how much it's worth. The quickest way to search is by using a macro, right? Are using trade macro, POE overlay, anything like that. So you press a hotkey with that. I'll post a link in the description to, to the one I am using. So you hotkey uh, and it shows you a quick uh, like last price that it has that it has in the database you do search and you see the current recent prices that are listed on the trade website this is a very quick search that you can see like a ballpark figure for how much the item is worth usually it's going to be more or less uh, the right price but if you want to make sure that you price your item more precisely then i would recommend going here and on poe ninja for example you can find this in unique accessories and then we type call of the brotherhood also shows eight chaos right but how do we actually find it properly like let's say you want you are interested in specific mods and specific roles on the items because that will change the price so what we do here is again we type call of the brotherhood and we search and we see all kinds of different rings and how to make sense of that, right? So what you wanna do is click here on this filter by item stats, and this will pop up all of the stats of the item that were present here, and you will be able to see the rolls when you hover. So for example, this uh, resistance value goes from 12% to 16, right? However, this is an implicit, right? And the way we know this is an implicit is if we uh if you look at it, like it's it's separated on top but if you press alt you see that this is an implicit implicit values can be re-rolled with blessed orbs which are very cheap they're worth like one chaos or less so you should not worry too much about the implicit because they they can be very easily re-rolled without modifying any other stats on the item so unless the item is corrupted you're perfectly happy with like no matter what the implicit is right because it just takes a few of the blessed orbs to re-roll that uh, so we don't worry too much about the implicit but what about the other roles well the most important role on uh, this item is probably the lightning damage right so let's say you wanted to search for like a very very good uh, role on this so let's say we go for like 24 to 25 right so we ser we search for the increased lightning damage we do minimum 24 because very often people will price the near perfect uniques at a much lower price than the perfect ones. Let's say if a perfect one was 100C, then the near perfect might be for 40C, right? And that's like 1% less increased damage, but you save 60C. And if you're starting to make your character, if, if you're just like starting to gear up, then that is a much better purchase. Like you get much more um, value for your money that way, right? So we search for that and we see from 5K we jump to 20 but there are some corrupted items here because of course that's the lowest price usually and that means we cannot reroll the implicit so we show the filter so we go to corrupted nope and we search again that removed the corrupted items so now we have uh, ranks that have very good increased uh, lightning damage so if you found something that had like 24 or 25 lightning damage you know that you need like 30c for your item pretty much right you, you should you should ask for at least 30c uh, now, what about the other values? Let's say we want to also uh, ha have a high intelligence role. So again, we go for like 24. Let's go to intelligence, type 24, search. And now that found very good uh, intelligence roles and very good lightning damage roles. And that means we're in the range of like 40C now, right? So we went from a 5C item 
and found out more precisely that if we have a very good special rolls, it's going to be more expensive and we can filter by each exact roll. And if, if we want like a perfect one, right? Um, so also the mana region, let's go for like 39. We search for that. That is 70 C, 110, one exalt, very few that are that well rolled because you have to be either very, very lucky or sp spend a lot of blessed orbs. So that's how you price a unique item. You check the specific roles, you check the ones that matter the most, you don't worry too much about the implicits, and that's how you price a unique item. Now, what about uh, an item that has sockets, right? Of course, you're gonna be able to search for uh, the sockets on the trade website, and this is here in the socket filters, and uh, let's actually go with the tremor rod, okay? So let's see how much my tremor rod is worth right now. So let's reset everything to make sure we're not messing anything up. Let's do tremor rod. Let's do six link. And also I want to make sure that I have, uh, that I have, um, that I have like zero red sockets. Okay. Zero red sockets, because let's say I don't want red sockets. Okay. So let's say, let's see how much I would pay for that. Three exalts, right? Three exalts, but that also includes two green. Let's say I wanted to only have one green. Okay. So maximum, uh, I think it is actually will show minimum one green. Yeah, this shows minimum one green. Um, can I do can I do it like something like uh, less than? No, I cannot type. I would have to check like how much that uh, maybe this is minimum. So like minimum one. Not sure that does anything. No, that doesn't do anything. Well, anyway, if we search specifically for the one I have, which is uh, one green, one white, and four blue. Exactly this combination actually doesn't exist, right? If we don't care about the socket colors, then that combination is going to exist and it's going to be minimum three exalts. So that's how, that's how much the item would cost. If you also care about the spell damage roll, that can go up to 60%. Let's say you want, you want to buy a six link and let's click in here and then increased spell damage, let's say like 58%. Does it even exist? 3.4, so you can get a pretty uh, big roll on this for pretty low value, but it has to have two green sockets. That is pretty annoying. This one is actually a little bit better, but it's six uh, exalts. So that's how you can check value based on the sockets. Now for items that um, have rolls on them, like rare items, I definitely recommend using the trade website. And for items that don't have any rolls, you can safely use the macro. So if, for example, I wanted to check like the current price of Exalt, it's very easy. I just do the macro and it shows me right now, it is like 185 to 190 chaos, right? If I wanted to check something like this Scarab, this Scarab should be 1C and it exactly shows that, right? If you buy things in bulk, they might be more expensive. How much are sextants right now? Sextants are for 2, 2.5 to 3 C these ones, okay? So you can check items very easy, like fragments, for example, or something like fragment of the Phoenix right now. If you do like a Phoenix map, that will give you just an extra 18 chaos just by default running that map. So if you see someone selling a map, that is the map, the Forge of the Phoenix, and it's for like 20 C or something ridiculous like that, then you should buy it because you're gonna get, get pretty much all of that from the fragment and then any other drops as well, right? So that's how you check items that don't have any specific things, but the rare items are the trickiest, right? So let's talk about rare items. Let's say you found a pair of boots and uh, they have, let's say, Tailwind, 50 life, 40 fire res, 25% movement speed, okay? Let's say you found boots like that and you're like, wow, I hit a jackpot, this might be worth a fortune. So how much you can actually realistically expect for those boots? So again, we clear the search, we go for Tailwind, which will immediately narrow it to boots, but we can type boots here as well. Then we go for maximum life. Let's say your life was 50, so let's search for 45 because we want to find items that are similar to what we have in order to not make it too narrow so that we can actually see something like that, right? Then you had like 25 movement speed. So let's see movement speed. Um, let's do 20. Okay. And then let's search for that. 
and we see that something like that will be 40, 50, 60 C. Movement speed here a lot of the time is crafted. If you wanted to search for boots that actually don't have a crafted movement speed, just have like natural movement speed on them, then you can add another group. You select not, that means it will not have that modifier. You type craft and then crafted movement speed. Now if we search for that, now it only shows boots that don't have crafted movement speed. They will usually have like crafted life on them and if people uh, are smart about selling them because people all of the time will also search for life here. But if we search for something that has total maximum life but it doesn't have crafted life again, uh, crafted maximum life, so we don't want that, you'll see that you can actually buy these for 50c that's actually a pretty good deal if you are just uh, starting off and you want some boots like with like uh, this even has open suffix so you can also craft resistance on this you have uh, some movement speed tailwind life uh, evasion so this would be actually pretty good if you want to like increase if you really care about the tailwind then you crit a lot right so that would be really cheap and you could potentially flip them even and sell them for slightly more like just craft resist on them and uh, and sell them for like 70c or something, right? They would probably very easily sell or like uh, maybe even more because uh, they cost a little bit more here. So that's uh, an item that you could potentially flip, although it's like pretty low value, but still, this is a very uh, good deal, I guess. So that's how you search for rare items. You go, uh, and in terms of resistances, right? Let's say you are interested in items that have resistances. Um, what you wanna do is go for total elemental resistance okay if your boots for example had 40 percent fire res you don't care if it's fire like it no but nobody cares if it's fire like when people are gonna buying it whoever needs the fire is gonna buy them but the value of fire is not inherently better or worse than the value of cold resist and so on so you just type total elemental resistances and add up the resistances you have on an item let's say you have like 40 of one resistance and 30 of another then that is 70 right so you just type 70 here if you want to find that exact value you search and then you find boots that have that amount and also if you if you use these pseudo values of like total maximum life which i think counts strength bonuses as well the increased movement speed the total elemental resistance that means you can also click on these things to search so you can uh, do something like buyout price, let's see, exalted orb, let's see you wanna spend maximum 10 exalts just randomly, okay? And then to just give it some limit, and then you click in this price range, you wanna find out, uh, find the boots with the highest total elemental resistances because you just wanna fix your resist, right? So you click on this and that will sort it descending. So this shows you 120, why didn't it include buyout price? exact price buyout price exalted or maximum 10 and it didn't somehow select that uh, so it showed boots that are for 80 but i guess you would have to like go down and search what are the highest these are for 15 and uh, these are for 40 mirror 25 let's find out give me some 10 these are 13 so that would be like 103 total elemental res uh, these are for 22 okay these are the ch these are the first ones that we found for less than 10 exalts and they have 101 total elemental resist right so this gives you like a good um, understanding of like okay I have 100 total elemental resist on my boots I have 20% movement speed I have like 40 something up to 50 life I should probably ask for like five, six, seven exalts, something like that for that, right? Uh, because they are um, they are like surrounded by items that are ex more expensive, right? If you sort by the stats, which means they're on the high end. So that means you can ask a little bit more. So maybe like six, seven X, right? Easily, right? For, for boots like that. So that's how you can price rare items using this. I don't recommend use, really using the trade macro because it's not really that reliable. You have to like make sure that you select uh the right values and even then it's not gonna search exactly like it might find corrupted items as well i'm not sure if that eliminates them or not so i definitely recommend going to the trade website to search for that so i think we went over all of the basic we went over like items that have no roles like just random 
different items that you can find. Maps are another thing that um, you can quickly search like this and it will give you like a basic price. Okay, 11C for a T16 white map, something like that. It makes sense, that's a reasonable price and you can list them for that much. Um, but if you care about like uh, something more specific, then you go to the trade website. And if you wanna look up multiple things at the same time, like for example, oils, you wanna see all the oils, how much do they cost? Then I recommend going to PoE Ninja because it has a nice neat list of all the oils. If you wanna say see like fossils, let's say you wanna be like, okay, I'm gonna hunt for fossils, but I wanna know which ones are worth more, which ones are worth less, like a good, a table that shows you all of the costs of them can be found on PoE Ninja, right? So that's how you can uh, find out the prices of those items. Hopefully this has been helpful and will help you like price check your items yourself. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.